Hi guys, Rusty here. If you're going to do a quick video, I've been on my trip. Um, we did it a little quicker than I expected. I, I had slotted three weeks um, and ended up having some family issues and had to get back home. I still made my trip. I still did almost 3,900 miles in nine days. And that includes a couple days stop in Sturgis area and Deadwood area and all that, the Black Hills as a whole. So we did some pretty heavy riding days. Um, we got up there in a little over two days. And we kind of planned it that way so we could stop in the Badlands and then make our way from there over to a hotel near the Washington Monument. <clears throat> and so we rode Needles Highway, Custer's Park, uh, Mount Rushmore, we rode uh, to Crazy Horse and did all that in that southern Black Hills area and then we left there and went up into Sturgis and ate lunch in Sturgis and walked around Main Street a little bit and then we went from there over to Deadwood for the night and uh, seen the saloon that Wild Bill Hickok was shot in and couple other historic sites if you've ever watched a TV show Deadwood uh, I like the show I watched it, it all the way through it was a lot of fun so it was neat to see all these places and that they actually exist and and that they are factual uh, so with that from that point we stayed the night got up the next morning we rode through Spearfish Canyon up through there weave back roads over to um, Devil's Tower we rode Devil's Tower then we went up into Montana there's a little bar up there in, in the southeast corner of Montana we stopped in there and I'm trying to remember the name of that little town we stopped in there got got lunch and had a couple adult beverages and then we scooted over to uh, North Dakota where we stopped at uh, Theodore Roosevelt's National Park that was pretty awesome to see to me that's a very underrated place I don't think a lot of people go there and I recommend it if you're gonna be in that area and you got the extra time to travel that far up it, it was fun to see and then we went from Theodore Roosevelt Park we stayed in Fargo North Dakota one night and went from there into Minnesota and we rode the Mississippi River south. <clears throat> My original plan, the only thing we didn't really get to do is go over to the Harley Museum. I wanted to go into Milwaukee and uh, that didn't happen. Uh, family events and more important things dictated I had to come home so we rode south on a scenic byway all the way down the Mississippi until we got into Illinois had a little bit of motorcycle problems. My water pump went out, so I had to stop at the dealer, one of the dealers, and uh, walk on Illinois, not Illinois, it's Iowa. And it was the dealer. And you know what? They were very gracious to kind of get me in and out in a reasonable amount of time. It took them about six hours, and that's about three and a half hours worth of work on my bike. But uh, so. From that point, we rode to Peoria, Illinois, stayed the night, and then the next morning got up and rode from Peoria, Illinois, all the way home to Atlanta, <clears throat> which was about 660 miles, so it was a pretty hefty uh, trip, somewhere between there and 700, and uh, yeah, I made it home, and it was an awesome trip. I wanted to get this... Uh, video out because I'm probably going to do a couple slideshows. I have video of the areas and I didn't get as much as I wanted to but I did get a little bit of video to share. I just haven't had in the editing at this point to make it worth watching instead of being a two hour long video of just boring stuff. I want to get the actual parts of the video that's going to be pertinent and, and be enjoyable to watch. Um, so I'm going to give you some of the still photos that I have. I've shared on my Instagram because I know a lot of the YouTube people out here has not subscribed to my Instagram, which I put all my photos on. Well, not all my photos, but the vast majority of my photos on Instagram. 
<clears throat> and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some slideshows I think and, and get that up so I can at least get y'all started. I've promised content and I've made a bunch of excuses with audio problems and all that, and I just I need to knuckle down and just get this done and quit messing around. Um, so I'm hoping to start being a lot more active. Uh, so if you're new and you, you're you're getting these videos for the first time hit that like and subscribe button make sure you hit that bell and hit the all button so it knows to send you all the notifications when something comes out I'm not the most uh, proficient at getting something out regularly but you know I try to make sure whatever I get out is pretty interesting at least or at least a good topic to talk on so uh, I appreciate you checking out my video and uh, and I'd like to say a special thanks to Mr. G365 for shouting out for me. Uh, him and Doyle, uh, Blue Bike and Doyle, has done that for me, and uh, I've noticed a, a pickup in people. So it definitely helps, and it, it means a lot. So thanks, guys. I appreciate you. We'll talk to you later.